the one thing with Ballad that I want to emphasize is that it's a, it's a very big universe. There are so many ballads and there are so many ways to play ballads. I think people sometimes are mistaken. They think, oh, a ballad is just something slow. Just a slow tune. If I play a, a slow, anything slow, I'll call it a ballad. But again, I can play something slow and it's not a ballad like a... <laughs> call that a ballad, it's a funeral march, you know, etc. What I call a ballad is something, first of all, I don't really know, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I know it when I hear it. But if I had to give a definition, which I, I don't like to give definitions in general, I think music gives its own, carries its own definition in the, in the, in the fabric of the, of the sound. But I would say, for me, a ballad is something that is based on on space and color rather than on uh, speed and rhythm and groove. And even as I'm saying that, I already disagree with myself because I feel like rhythm and groove can be very, very important in ballads. Like, for example, when I played the Nardis, so you, you might argue it was not exactly a ballad the way I played it, but in a way it was. There was this sense of space and that thing unfolding slowly. So anyway, ballad is a word. Words applied to music are always incomplete, and etc. But my point, and that's the important part, is there are so many ways to play music and whatever you call ballad in particular. For example, in the first improvisation that I did, and also maybe uh, in Someday My Prince Will Come, you can play a 3-4 ballad. I do that often. My own tunes, which I've played as well, like Shooting Star or 3-4-2, of are in three. So, you know, you could even play uh, something traditionally played in, in four, like all the things you are, you could play it in three, like... Uh. been five. I love to play body and soul in five. Huh? I think I did it in one of the versions that I did uh, during those two days. Like, uh, it's more like two, two plus three, you know. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, Etc. It's in two plus three, it's in five. It's a ballad, there's no question about it. Very, very few people play ballads in odd meters, three being an odd meter, so three is being played often, but five rarely as a ballad. Can be beautiful. The slow movement of Tchaikovsky's last symphony, the pathetic number six, is in five and it's kind of a kind of ballad. You know? It's a slow five, it's beautiful. It's not being done very much in jazz. Um, so I will talk about that, odd meters, a little bit later. But the point is, there are many, many, many ways to play ballads. And in the course of the few chapters here, I'm going to talk, maybe referencing what I'm saying with the tune that I played, so you can then, before or after, as you wish, listen to the tune that I'm mentioning, and that will, of course, give you even more information than what I can convey in words. Uh, so I will be referencing those tunes as I talk about those different subjects of the amazing things that you can do on a ballad, and uh, there are, as I said, quite a lot of them, maybe even an infinity of them. So let's embark for infinity here. <laughs>